I think, you know, again, understanding what your role in the selection process is, you know, so you're going to have somebody um, who's going to be selecting them based on their technical capability, whether they're an accountant or or whatever. And then you're going to have the person selecting them about, you know, will they be that cultural fit? And we know it's been said time and time again, you know, hire for attitude, train for, for, for skills. And that is so true because yeah. the jobs are evolving so quickly now. So if we're only hiring for the skill that we need at this time, then we're not future uh, proofing the whole process. Yeah. So, you know, the chances are in all of our businesses, we're going to need people who can do new things that we haven't even imagined yet. And so if if you're if you don't get to know the person and you don't get to understand how they think or how comfortable they will be with change or how you know at ease they are around the development or the uncertainty that might be ahead in certain things, you'll never get to know their true potential in a particular yeah. area. It's an unsuccessful interview, I think personally. Yeah. 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 So when you're sitting down, you know, to consider the 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 different candidates you've interviewed with your, you know, interview colleagues, you know, whether it's been a panel interview or whether it's been, you know, just different stages. I think that's the type of conversation you want to have about, but can you see this person still with us? Can you see this person contributing in such a way? You know, yeah. yes, maybe they can do the job right now, but so can four of the other candidates do the job right now. It's, do we want more than that? Yeah, you just you want someone who's going to come in and understand what you want and get on board with helping you achieve that. 